Remember all those days that I've been working out here with a jacket and a sweater on? Well, I just shut the fan off so that we could get some good audio in here, and it's already <laughs> 90 degrees and on its way up. So we've got to get our work done in here quick. We've got a lot to show you today. The first thing we're going to do is fertilize our tomatoes. If you've got some plants growing inside under lights or maybe outside somewhere and they're just little transplants, we want to fertilize. We want to fertilize with something organic, something that's good for everything that's underneath in that soil. And, and I'm just falling in love with this grow from a spoma. A spoma's been around forever, 1930s. You fill up that little thing and put a little bit in there, a couple squirts. Smells kind of like fish. Now my hand's going to smell like fish. We fill this up with water, and that concentrate's going to last you probably all season. I have a couple things to show you in the greenhouse, too. And we're going to get this stuff out, get some stuff planted, and on the way, I've got things out there that have been revealed by the spring. It's basically what winter did to some of my prize plants. Well, it's been a good season in the greenhouse, that's for sure. And when these tomatoes get to a certain size where they've got their own what we call true leaves. We're just going to give them a little drink of this stuff and probably once a week we'll give them, give them some fertilizer, get them growing big, strong, and you know we still have another good month till they're going to go out and check out this. These are cannas grown from seed. This is a new AAS winter called South Pacific Orange and Usually you can't grow cannas from seeds. You got to buy the bulbs, but I'm very excited about this. And as you can see, I'm going to have a few to give away and we'll talk about that at the end of the show. All right, I'm going to finish up in here, get some plants, meet me out in the garden. As I said, we're going to take a few stops along the way to the vegetable garden. Feed me, feed me. Well, our first stop is a winter success. This is a shrub you might not know about called Caria. It loves to grow in part sun, part shade has a beautiful weeping form, and look at these orangish yellow flowers that happen in the spring. I love it. I've got a couple growing in the garden, and I saw a whole bunch of them right down the road at Han Nursery in little one-gallon pots. You could get one, put it in your garden, and I'll tell you what, this is probably the fifth year it's been here, and this is the best it's looked. And here's one of two disappointing things that happened over the winter. I was so excited when we put in this uh, variegated Japanese Pieris and it didn't make it. 20 years ago I would have been like, oh I don't have a green thumb or what happened? I, I can't believe it, but things like this happen. Plants die, that's part of gardening. Yeah, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. The way I look at it now is I'm going to find something else, something else cool that can go in here. All right, let's get in the vegetable garden and plant. That'll be fun. You're going to the compost pile. We've got a few little leftover garlic plants here. We're not gonna bother with them, let them do their thing. Add a little compost on here. This is pretty good soil as it is, but always good to add a little bit more compost. You know, that's a $5 bag of compost and that's gonna give these plants everything they need. And I'm just gonna put in some lettuce and some other greens. It's funny, I've got some dandelions here and <laughs> My radio partner and fellow Trib columnist, Jessica Wallace, is always teasing me about growing dandelions. So I said, hey, I got a couple flats of leftover stuff from the greenhouse. Would you like some? Oh, yeah, great. And then I got a text this morning. Does this say dandelions? Next text, do you want them back? I said, no, they're annuals. You eat them. Uh, they really are good. They're a good Italian green. And you know how good dandelions grow. These are not ones that are going to flower, though, like the ones that we have growing in the lawn. These are just going to make nice tall greens that we're going to add in salads and boy these guys are perfect you can see those roots man that's just where you want them i like that all right and i'm not even going to thin them out i'm just going to let them get in here and do their thing they'll make just a nice little carpet and i'll harvest as needed okay and let's see what's up. next i think is some tennis ball lettuce you know, it's not too late to start some of this stuff from seed yourself, whether outdoors or indoors. I think this is tennis ball. Yeah, tennis ball. So make nice little, nice little kind of butter heads. And those two are too close together. I'm just going to trim them out of there and we'll eat them later. A lot of times I plant this stuff pretty close together. 
I want the edges, the leaves to touch each other when they're mature. All right. All these plants love cool weather. And even though today we've got 80 degrees, in a week, it'll be back to 50, trust me. And it's too early to plant tomatoes and peppers. We have to wait till the end of the month for that, and please, trust me on that. I'd hate for you to have to replant. All right, I'm going to find some other spots for these greens, and then I got something else to show you in the garden. These need water right away, though. Oh, it feels so good to be out in the garden in earnest. We're into May. There's no stopping us now. And I love this flowering crabapple tree. And right before it blooms, those buds are just tight and a great color. They're going to open to a light pink, but look at that deep maroon. Just love it. Check me out online, too. Lots of great gardening information there. Of course, that's where you can join my Seed of the Month Club. Until next week, I've got so much to do. That greenhouse is filled with stuff that needs to go from there out to there. But I'm loving every minute of it. We'll see you then.